Hi, I'm Victor Alpha 5, Mike Uniform Delta. And on today's episode, what I'm going to show you today is how to make your very own power pole adapters, cords, whatnot, without the use of a special tool. Not everybody has the special tools or all the dies, all that kind of stuff. You know, can't see that. Tools and dies. What I'm going to show you is we are not going to have, we're not going to need any of that. All you need is, uh, first thing you're going to need is a soldering gun. Then you're going to need some solder, of course. Uh, it'd be good to have a multimeter to test it. Um, cutting tools, strippers, knife. Um, of course, you're going to need the wire of choice. So whatever gauge I'm using, uh, what do we got here? 12 gauge wire. So. I got uh, a red and a black to make it all nice and consistent with my all my rigs. So I got my wire. Um, of course, you're going to need your power poles. So you get whatever kind you want. I get the, the, the heavier gauge one so I could fit in the, the 12 gauge wire. Um, what else is there that we're missing here? We have uh, some heat shrink. That's another thing. So the heat shrink is great. Uh, the stuff I use, so I was mentioning it over and over, is the stuff with the glue inside of it. Uh, having the glue when you strip when you sh shrink it the glue pukes out of it and it really bonds it together that's really good and so uh, hey let's get started and let's build ourselves our very own power poles without the special tool all right let's get started on building this so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our wires here and whatever length you want to make them I mean within the limits of what the gauge is we're gonna do is we're gonna take them and we're gonna pull ourselves off. Uh, I don't know. I think I'm gonna make myself a. I'll make myself a fairly decent one here. Come on. What we're gonna do is we're gonna we snip them off. What we want to do is we want to cut um, a certain length. But before we do that, I'm gonna show you how we actually twist them up. So we're gonna take one end here. You're gonna take a drill of your choice. Put the two wires in the chuck. All right, so the two wires are in the chuck. And then what we're gonna do with the other two wires is we're gonna put them in, we're gonna put them into a vise to hold them or any other kind of thing you wanna do. You can mean you can use your pliers if you wanna hold them. I mean, yeah, hey, let's do the pliers. I'm gonna hold the pliers. And I'm going to see if I can get this on camera. Then we're just going to sit there. We're going to load this sucker up. We're going to spin it. I'm holding the other end. And you're going to make it tight. Not too tight so it starts flipping around on you. But you want it tight so it actually stays. See, we're starting to bunch up. That's probably as tight as you're going to get it. Yeah, we're going to go all crazy on this as I release the tension. All right, so let's let go of it. Let's take it out, out of the vite, out of the drill. Now we got all nicely coiled up. And the length doesn't matter too much on the two because we basically, look, we got a kind of a messed up end here. We're gonna clean that one up. We're gonna cut it off. And this is where we're gonna strip it off. We're gonna strip off about a quarter of an inch off each one. Let's get some nice wire strippers. You can get a nice job on that. We're going to strip this one off. Easy as that. So before I started this, I got my soldering iron uh, heated up. So clean that end up here while I'm talking. All right. So I got the soldering iron all ready to go. Here's our ends right here. And what we're gonna do, we're not, like I said at the beginning, we're not gonna be, you, we don't have a crimping tool, so we're just gonna solder them. Important thing to note when you're doing this, because there isn't a lot of flex on these wires to spin around, you wanna have the orientation proper so that it goes into the power pole connections. I'm using this one as my reference. This is, this is already built right here, so I wanna have, make sure I have the left right properly so they connect together. So I got that orientation right on this. And uh, the other thing I want to do is make sure the little pins go in the proper place. 
see that they have to be facing downwards so make sure the, the orientation is right so what we're going to do is we're going to orientate this is on downward side like this and we're going to put it in to the negative side make sure you get all the wires in there you don't want to have any of them not in there so down put this one down as well okay both of them are down now you see that wire is a little bit longer than the other one you got to be pretty close to each other or else you're going to have a little bit of a, a sort of a pressure point that's going to work i'm just going to get that one yeah, there we go yeah so both downwards double check we have the wire in here both are down yep we're looking good we're not going to put the plastic on obviously because it still has to be soldered so we get our soldering gun i use a nice hot one this is the one from when i was a kid still have it it's super hot and you need some solder i'm gonna find my solder whatever i did with it it's somewhere on the table here there it is what we're gonna do is we're gonna solder these they're gonna be moving around on us we're gonna push them down here gonna heat them up nice and good you see that on the camera we get that end really nice and hot and then the solder is just going to flow right in there into that little hole they have on the end release hold it for a moment go to this one heat it up for a moment push it into the hole nice amount of solder till it comes off on the back end hold it for a minute the important thing to note is don't get any solder on these pads or else you're not going to get a good contact all right those are good to sit so let's repeat the same on the other side we'll take our our end and don't worry if they unravel a little bit because we can always re-ravel them up it's not not gonna be the end of the world nothing's gonna be the end of the world making ham radio stuff unless you Unless you eat uh, oven cleaner, then that might be the end of the world for you, but that's a different video. All right, let's get this down there. Now, the whole idea of doing this on camera is a little awkward. I'll do this in my vice or whatnot, but not doing it on this video. All right, let's get this heated up. Get a nice amount of heat in there. You'll know when you start starts flowing the solder into it. Look at that. Oh, beautiful. Hold it for a second. That one slipped off a bit. Put it on there. Hold it. Nope, just sliding apart. Right in there. A little more solder until it comes out to the other end. You can't really see it, but I can see it. Okay, all right, I'm gonna unplug the soldering iron because I don't need it anymore and I don't wanna burn it. I'm gonna burn myself, I'm gonna put it away, get it out of the way. All right, so we got our ends here now. Good idea right now to check before we start clipping everything together. Move the wire out of the way. Get your multimeter out and check for continuity. Now remember what I said before, get your multimeter set to uh, resistance or the beeper. Make sure your leads are working. What we're gonna do is we're gonna check and see if we have continuity and resistance, if any resistance on our wire. Zero on the negative and zero on the positive. Good stuff, we got it rolling here. So wires are in good shape. Now that we got those two built, what we're gonna do is we're gonna use our heat shrink tubing. Now, like I said earlier, I use heat shrink tubing with the glue inside. So when you heat it up, the glue melts and it actually creates kind of a, a really nice bonding layer. And another trick I do is I'm going to cut it to about, uh, about an inch and a quarter. I'll show you my trick right away here.
Another trick I do is this is just a little bit too small for these these uh, these ends. Uh, I couldn't get the right size. Plus the ratio shrinking down was quite substantial. So I didn't want to go too large so I wouldn't get a good uh, shrink on the wire itself. So what I do is I take the heat shrink tubing and a pair of pliers, I'll put it inside and I'll stretch it apart. Take that in my other one. A little bit of effort. Stretch both sides if you want. It's going to shrink again. Trust me. It's not. It's going to be take a while for it to shrink back to its normal size. So, if you are concerned about slipping it over, which I'm not. I'm not going to worry about it. I'm not going to put them on now. Look at that. It gets stuck in there. All right. So now that we did this, we want to make sure nothing has bent on this. Make sure that the fittings are nice so there's a little piece of solder on that one just got a little dab on there so I'll leave my solder in there it's still hot I'll clean it up a little bit not quite there there we go got it off very important that you make sure that these are nice and straight like the factory you didn't bend them they're nice and clean, nice contact on them. No solder on there. Solder joint's good on there. We're going to snap them together. So, let's take this guy here. Push him in. Until you get a nice, solid click. Same thing with this one. They don't go in. You got you, And it's a good idea to keep them together now because we have the wires all twisted together. Push it in there. A little bit of persuasion. Make sure they're pushed all the way in, like that. All right. Do it to this side. Now we got to build this one. We're gonna make sure it's the same, because it is possible to put them on backwards. So let's just take a guess here. Let's put it this way. We'll slide them together. Do they slide together? Not really. Do this. This. There we go. There they are together. They're going to match up. Yep, that's the way we want to do it. In here, we took our time. We did the orientation properly so that the pins were in the right direction. The little retainers. I'm going to push it in there. There, there. That one didn't go all the way in. You can see in there. I don't know if you can see it on camera. But it's not quite in there. We're going to take our pliers and we're going to make sure that goes all the way in. Very important. There we go. All the way to the end. All the way. Okay. Push them together. Just do a quick check. Make sure we're clipping. Good. Give them a pull. It's going to pull it apart on us. Nice and solid. Now this is completely optional on the next thing. You see this little hole here. You could buy special pins and um, put them in there. Keep it from getting a little janky and sliding around. A lot of times the shrink, uh, heat shrink will hold together. As an extra precaution, you could use a couple of things. You can use some uh, weed whacker trim wire or string. Um, printer filament is just a little too small, but it does fit in there. Um, I found that some, look in your junk drawer and find some wire. I find that some wire in there is just enough of a friction fit that we could put it in there. We could shear them off. And there's our pin. Completely optional to put some glue in there if you want. A little bit of crazy glue. It's not a bad idea if you want to make sure it doesn't roll out on you. Do it on this one. There's enough friction fit with this wire that I don't think it's really going to go anywhere, but... You never know, right? So I got that one pushed there. And slice her off nice and clean. There we go. All right. So here's our wires. Final step. We want to get our shrink tubing. And, you know, we're just going to give it another pre-stretcher. Pre Warm her up for the old final fit. Slide it over here. Might have to go kind of quick. 
Don't go for a beer break right at this second because you want to get the su the sucker over top, right? And you can't can't be too far over because you need it to actually fit together. And it's not going to work if you have too much heat shrink on there. Put it together just to make it a little easier to maneuver here. There we go. Want to get all the way to the end. So it's not covering over top of where the connection is. It is going to stretch back a little bit, or sorry, shrink back. There we go. That's a good spot for it right there. Happy with that. Get this side in there. Give her the old stretch. You're not happy with it. Yeah, it's not quite going on there that easy. Let's give it another stretch. I mean, to make it really easier to have a high shrink ratio heat shrink, but this is what I had, and this is what I'm going to use. Now I really stretched it. And look at that. Very easy to put on. It's actually easier stretching it a few times. Get back. All right. Now, the best way to do this is with a heat gun, but it's a little noisy for the video, so I'm just going to use the lighter. I'm going to heat these guys up. Try getting two for the money here. A little hot there. You can see the glue coming out. Well, I can see it, you probably can't see it. There's actually glue in there. Now don't worry if we get a little too close to the end, we can always trim, trim some of that heat shrink off. And you may want to go a little longer too, give yourself a little more grab on the wire too. I found this length works fine for me, but You see, I'll get a little closer to the camera. You see the glue squirting out. I like to give it, oh, there it goes. Just got on my hands are a little hot. <laughs> I like to give it a little bit of a squeeze. I'll heat this one up again. I like to kind of squeeze that glue, get it all pushed through the wires. Yeah, this one's dripping out already. Look at that. Give it a little squeeze. This one I got a little, a little crooked, but Get these guys cooled down, push that glue around in there. That little pin is held in there by the by the heat shrink. Like that. And there you go. That's how it's done. Simple as that. Very easy way to make your little jumpers for, for your power poles, for your radios. It looks professional. I mean, you could probably go and sell these on eBay if you wanted to, because they, I don't know, I, I love them. They're, they look great. They stay together. And they roll up really nice. Plug together. There you go. Just like that. Hey, thanks for joining me. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe this channel. It means a lot to me, man. And uh, I'll, you'll be seeing some more videos coming shortly. Hey, for now, 73s. I am Victor Alpha 5, Mike Uniform Delta. And today's uh, episode, what I'm going to be showing you is how... Mm. Ah. There we go. Get that out of the way.